A lapped zipper uses a standard zipper and is sewn with an overlap on the left side of the opening that covers the zipper. You'll see one line of stitching on one side of the seam. I like to use a lap zipper on a skirt or a dress when I want a more tailored look than the centered zipper. It looks more elegant and streamlined, but it's just as easy to do. You will need a zipper foot, a seam ripper, wonder tape, a zipper, a clear ruler, a Dritz metal hem guide, pins, and marking tools. So I've already stitched my seam up to the marking on the pattern, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and leave the rest of the zipper opening unsewn unlike the way that we did with the centered zipper when we basted that seam line closed. So looking at the wrong side of the garment, we're going to first press the left side of the zipper opening under half an inch. It really doesn't matter which side you create the lap on, that's personal preference. But just remember that the seam pressed under half an inch will always be the one that is underneath or opposite the lap. It's important to have this measurement exact so you're still covering your zipper teeth with the lap. On the other side, you're going to turn the seam allowance under 5 eighths of an inch and press. I'm using a Dritz metal hem guide. It's really helpful. If you don't measure your seam allowances accurately, your zipper teeth might show and your seam might be a little less accurate. So don't forget to take your time and measure carefully. Before I stitch, I need to secure the zipper. I'm going to turn the garment over and I'm gonna work from the front side now. And just like I did with the centered zipper, I'm using my trusty double-sided wash away adhesive tape. Again, if you don't have double-sided wash away tape, it's okay, you can use your pens. Just pin carefully within the seam allowance. I like to sometimes do it diagonally. And then you can also hand baste after pinning if you want to be extra secure or you're working with a slippery fabric. I'm going to put the wash away tape on the zipper, then tuck the zipper behind the garment, placing the fold of the fabric right next to the teeth of the zipper. And now I'm ready to stitch. I've set my machine to 2.6, but of course anything between 2.2 and 2.8 is totally fine. I've also moved my needle all the way over to the left side just so I can get close to the zipper teeth. And I'm also using a contrasting thread. It's bright yellow, but of course you're gonna to wanna to use a color that matches your garment so that it isn't as visible. Right now I'm gonna be stitching right next to this fold line. So I'll put my needle down to the fabric, back stitch just to secure. and start sewing, just right next to that fold line. Be careful not to go over it. Now this is a great example. What do I do when I get to my zipper pull? So I'm gonna leave my needle down, and with this particular zipper foot, I don't have to raise the foot to get the zipper pull out of the way. So I can just actually zip it up, and now I don't have that pull in my way. I'm not worried about having to go around it, and I'm gonna continue stitching down the line. Stitching all the way down this line until I get to the end mark, and then we go back stitch to secure. I'm actually gonna do three back stitches right here, just to make sure that my thread is perfect. All right, so far so good. If you're careful in that first step to measure and press your seam allowances as directed, this zipper application is quick and easy. Next, we're going to mark and stitch on the other side of the zipper, and we're gonna form that lap that covers the zipper teeth. We're marking our stitch line so that we can sew an accurate seam. Once you get more comfortable, you may just be able to use the markings on the throat plate. Start by marking your stitching line 3 eighths of an inch from the pressed edge on the left side of the seam. Again, mark your bottom horizontal line, making sure that this line is always above the zipper stop so we don't accidentally sew on top of it later. Close the zipper, then move the left side of the garment edge so that its fold matches the line of stitching you made on the other side. Then finish securing your zipper in place with your tape. Now we're actually ready to sew the left-hand side. So the first thing that I'm gonna want to do is make sure that I open up my zipper. And now I'm going to put my zipper under the machine. But the first thing that I want to do is actually move my needle all the way to the other side. We've been working with the needle on the left side, but we need to move it to the right side because our zipper teeth are now on the right side. And before we put in, I'm going to feel around and just make sure, double check, that my zipper teeth are not going to be underneath that marked stitch line because I don't want to stitch over my zipper teeth. If I stitch over my zipper teeth, I'm not going to be able to get my zipper to close. So based on feel, it looks like my line of stitching is just right next to my zipper teeth but not on top of them. And we're ready to get started. We'll put our needle down. We're going to take a couple of back stitches just to secure, as always. And now we're ready to stitch down. This whole time, my fingers are running over those zipper teeth. I just wanna make sure that I'm not sewing over them. We get to the bottom, that horizontal line that we made. 
I'm leaving my needle down into the fabric, lifting my presser foot, pivoting. Now we're just gonna close up our zipper, double check our lap, make sure that that's folded over nicely, and then we're gonna sew across the horizontal line. And back stitch to secure. And just like that, your lap zipper is done. Next, I'll show you how to stitch an invisible zipper using a standard zipper foot. 